everybody. My name is Barb Raw, <laughs> and I'm actually here to give you a little lesson on a recipe that I created. And I, I don't really have an official name yet for it, but I'm calling it Green Heaven Sauce. <laughs> How's that? And we're going to have it on top of zoodles, which are zucchini noodles. And, uh, yeah, and some mushrooms marinated, so let's get started. Unfortunately, my camera is having some issues, so I can't tilt it. So for the rest of this lesson, uh, you won't be seeing me, but you will be seeing what I'm going to show you how to make. Hope you join me. Okay, so to make this recipe, you're gonna need uh, something to spiralize your zucchini. So as you can see here, I think it's a star fruit, this one that I bought, and it actually has three different settings. Um, so we're just using a spaghetti noodle, uh, kind of the thinner spaghetti noodle. I believe it has a thicker one and, a, and then a slicer as well. So this one works really well for um, making zucchini noodles. So you're simply gonna, I usually cut them in a half and I do peel them, you don't have to. I just like to make them look more like noodles if I can and like actual pasta noodles. And so you're just gonna pop it in here, secure it, and away we go. So I did do my noodles in advance for timing purpose. I just wanted to show you how it kind of cranks out pretty quickly here. So that's half a zucchini. You can see how quick that is. I basically go until you're just kind of spinning and nothing's happening so that's about it and then what I like to do is save these parts of the zucchini because you can reuse them in soups or uh, salad dressings anything that you want to get bulked up or what I use them for is for Bella so I give them to her and her dog food and then with the noodles let me just turn the camera here so with the noodles you can just separate them so they're not so long. I just kind of do it by hand and then put them in my bowl. So I'll deal with those after. And so for timing purpose, I actually did some. So this is two, let me show you how big the bowl is here. So that is two um, medium-sized zucchinis and I spiralized them and what I did was just put a pinch of salt and what happens then is they get nice and soft. So they become like pasta. So they're not so al dente. They're a little bit softer as if you cook them. So that's what I would definitely recommend. That's a good tip to have. Um, and then, so we'll put those aside. We've got our noodles ready. So now we're gonna, oh, 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 I wanted to tell you about uh, how to make the topping for this recipe. So as you can see, they look like they're cooked, but they're not. These are done in a dehydrator. So, and what I do first is I marinate them in some tamari. Okay, it's like a soya sauce, or uh, you could use soya sauce, you could use coconut aminos. Kind of gives it that saltiness that you want without adding salt. And then a little bit of cayenne, maybe some onion powder, pretty much anything that you think you would enjoy in it. And what I do too is I cut up some fresh parsley, add that. And then what you do, is, if you haven't seen these, is these are a dehydrator tray. And so we have got these sheets that we reuse. That's why mine looks yucky. <laughs> so you can wash them and reuse them. And so that makes it so it doesn't seep through, of course. And then you're going to put them in the dehydrator at between 115 degrees to 119 at the highest. And you put them in for about an hour and a half and they come out like this and they look and and they taste just like as if you stir fried them which is awesome okay so you can still have and then also they can be warm so if you plan ahead you can make this you know close like an hour and a half before you're ready to have your meal and then that way when you put them on top of your noodles it'll heat it all up and then you'll have it semi lukewarm right um, yeah so it's excellent and then in the summer obviously you can you don't have to have them as warm so you can make them in advance 
keep them in the fridge like I did. This was an extra bit that I had. So this is perfect amount for what I'm making today. So now let's move the camera so that you can see the next part. So now we're going to make our sauce. Sorry for my camera here. It's not, uh, my holder isn't the greatest for this, but hopefully you can see my Vitamix here. And so for our sauce today, let's grab this off here. Okay. So sorry, let me just make sure you can see this all. Okay. So I've got here four or sorry, five dates unfitted, of course. So we're going to put those in. And you can do two to three garlics for this recipe. So it depends how much garlic. These are pretty good size, so I'm using two. And then we've got lime. So we're going to use lime juice. Now normally half to one lime depends on the size of it. So I'm actually going to go put both in. Usually I use a squeezer, but you can use your hands too. Okay. And the other one. Awesome. That gives it a bit of a tang, especially with the avocado we're going to put in. It's a good mix. And then about eight to 10 raw, oops, here. If you can see that there, raw cashews. Okay. Pop those in. No need to soak them ahead of time, but you could. We've got uh, two pretty small avocados. At least they're, they're kind of medium for us over here, but I'm sure if you're looking from somewhere tropical like Hawaii, this, this would be considered small. <laughs> Look how beautiful that one is. Gotta love when you open up a beauty like that. And I got lucky. There's two of them. Wow, it's almost a shame to put them in a sauce because you don't really appreciate it as much then. Okay, so let's go and put those in. And you can use less, but this recipe I just turned out pretty perfect. So I'm going to do it exactly the same way. But you know, if you want to reduce the fat, um, you could use like something else to fill it up maybe, like put a little bit more dates. Um, you could put some zucchini in it. You didn't want to use so much avocado keep in mind this isn't going to be just for one serving this is for like two to three maybe even four people so you will have extra if it's if you're only making for the for yourself or you can reduce it just use one avocado or half of an avocado it's totally up to you okay so that's good let me just rinse off my hands here Okay, and we're gonna add about one fourth cup, maybe half a cup of water. So what you can do is you kind of add a little bit and just keep adding as you go. Cause you don't wanna get it too, I mean, it's kind of hard with this recipe, it's pretty thick. So you're not gonna really thin it out that much. So I'm just using my Kangen water machine here. So it's nine and a half pH. If you guys don't know about Kangen 8, you should definitely look that up or just message me and I can give you some information. We love it. And then a key ingredient in this recipe is smoked paprika. So we're going to use about a teaspoon or yeah, one teaspoon. You can use a little bit more. Just what I would suggest is just taste it. So what I'll do is I'll taste it after. So I'll start off with one teaspoon. And you can use a pinch of salt. I just use a Himalayan salt, not quite off salt completely. I'm getting there. <laughs> um, you won't need as much though in this recipe because you've got um, the tamari that's on the mushrooms. And then I do use a touch of black pepper. I use a Watkins pepper. It's award winning. Um, touch a touch of onion powder. Just a pinch. I think we're ready and then what I'm going to do is add the fresh parsley at the end because you don't want to over blend your herbs, your fresh herbs anyway. Um, so can you 
you see that okay? I think you can there. Hopefully you can watch the noise. It won't be too bad. So I'm just pulsing it. To get a little stuck so that means it might have to add more water but I'll take a look so you can see how beautifully thick that is right you guys can see that okay I'm gonna get a spatula kind of move it around a bit here it's more for the dates that you want to really blend it really really well I'm gonna also give it a taste So good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. I'm going to add a touch more smoked paprika because I like it. There we go. So about one and a half teaspoons for me. And then I think I'm going to add a touch more water just to make it a little easier in the blender. It's nice and thick though. Give it one last blend. Actually, I'm going to put my bunch of parsley in there. So I just go for a handful, however much you like. Pop it in there. No need to chop it when it goes in the blender. Okay, here we go. Beautiful that looks. See how nice and thick that is? That's the thickness you like for a sauce. Okay. So let me just plate it. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is our final product. Look how delicious this looks. See how thick that sauce is? And then once you blend it all up, all the flavors come together. I'll just give you a peek of how the sauce is. So you can see how thick that is and how much I still have left over. So this is plenty for a family. I hope you enjoyed my video. And let me know in the comments when you make this recipe. I would love to hear your feedback and see what you think of my green heaven sauce. Have a great day.